You know, a goofy white supremacist thought that he could approach Dr. Sandy Darity with some ignorance and some ignorant propaganda that comes from right wing think tanks and right wing media. I want you to hear how Dr. Darity puts this white supremacist in his place. Are there any trends within, within the black community, such as higher crime rates or higher illegitimacy, illegitimacy rates that could explain their position vis-a-vis -vis whites? And can those be explained by some dominant social group? No. No to the first one or the no second to one? No to, to both. both. So there's no I mean, it, 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 it's, there's a propagandistic mechanism that's afloat about you know, black illegitimacy and black criminality. Uh, I guess it depends on what kind of crime you have in mind. Uh, if we think about which community in the United States has the highest degree of history of violence, that's unquestionably white Americans. Unquestionably. I mean, I'm not sure if you're aware of the hundred massacres that were conducted between the end of the Civil War and World War II that were directed against black communities throughout the United States, in which thousands of blacks were killed and the white terrorists appropriated black-owned property. So there, there's no segment of the population that has a greater history of violence than white Americans. So when you talk about these kinds of matters to me, you're actually mouthing a set of propagandistic claims that are made on the right in the United States, and they do not have a foundation in fact. The great thing he said in the end is that nothing he said is rooted in fact. And with white supremacy, it's never gonna be rooted in fact. It's always gonna be lies and falsehoods. They have to believe lies and falsehoods because what Dr. Darity told him is the truth. Nobody has been more violent than the white supremacists. Nobody has stole more than the white supremacists. Nobody has committed more heinous crimes than the white supremacists. I mean, it's just bottom line. That's why I say it's funny. They try to project who they are on someone else. The white supremacists is the one that have people on edge going into schools and malls and churches, etc., to go shoot up the place. It's white supremacists doing that. That's their community. But then they got the nerve talking about black people. And what are you worrying about black people's crime or black people uh, having children? They have nothing to do with you. It's, it, it's, there's a propagandistic mechanism that's afloat about you know, black illegitimacy and black criminality. Um, I guess it depends on what kind of crime you have in mind. Uh, if we think about which community in the United States has the highest degree of history of violence, that's un unquestionably white Americans. We live rent free in, in, in their goofy minds. Instead of trying to fix their own community and get down that criminality and violence and drug use and everything else, they worry about black folk. But let me know what y'all think about what Dr. Darity said. Like I said, that's the way you, you clap back at a white supremacist. You just give them the history because the history is the truth.